Hey, ALC Small Groups, so glad to be with you. And uh, tonight we're gonna talk about a five-step prayer model to help us pray for miracles. Just to kind of uh, maybe try to hook you in to the five-step prayer model, we used this prayer model uh, one mission trip in the nation of Cuba, and we saw over 500 miracle healings using this prayer model. So we believe that you can use this prayer model in partnership with the Holy Spirit to see miracles today. Romans 4.17 says, In the presence of God, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. When we pray for physical, spiritual, or emotional uh, miracles, what we are doing is we are imitating God and we're calling into existence things that do not exist. Mm -hmm. So let's say we're going for a physical miracle like we saw in the nation of Cuba and quite frankly we see at Abundant Life on Sundays often. Uh, what we're saying is there is a physiological condition in the human body that we are partnering with the Holy Spirit, asking Him to intervene and actually change the physiology of what's going on. Now, when we go for emotional miracles and spiritual miracles, it's a little bit more mystical, but when we go for physical miracles, these are things that we can test right here and right now. So we want to teach you a five-step prayer model to help us pray for miracles, and then maybe after we're done, you'll get to practice this in your own small group. So I've got Pastor Jared with me. Would you say hi, Pastor Jared? Hello, everyone. And he is actually going to pray for me for healing, uh, and the reason being is I need a miracle healing. I thought you uh, were going to pray for the hair on my head. No, not going oh, for that. No, okay. I, no I'm going, uh, I'm going to... Wrong Mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to finish off a miracle uh, that I need uh, in this session. Now we're taping ahead, so this will be you know a few weeks before this plays. But the miracle that I needed uh, will come out in the interview. So the first step is to interview and prepare for prayer. Uh, and we're going to use Romans 4, 16 and 4, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and 21. We use that in the nation of Cuba. That's how we saw our 500 miracles there. We recommend you go back and read those verses, but we just want to give a practical application of those verses for mm -hmm. the intents and purposes of, of this teaching. So the first step when you're praying for a miracle is to interview and prepare to pray. So Pastor Jared, let's pretend, matter of fact, let's not pretend, let's go for real, <laughs> is is you're the interviewer, you're gonna yeah. pray for me. Yeah. So uh, would you start the interview and find out what is what what is my need? Why am I here? Yeah. Hey, what's your name? My name, is, my name is Pastor Ben. What are you coming down for prayer for today? So um, my need is I have a shoulder mm -hmm. that uh, it needs miracle healing. Mm -hmm. I was at the chiropractor and he was trying to treat me for a growing, developing problem. Mm -hmm where I could not lift my arm without mm. severe pain. Mm. And it was getting worse, not better. Mm -hmm. And his treatments were not working. Mm. So finally, he did a little test that he does, and he said, you know, I think you've got something called impaction. Mm. And uh, I had to re look that up and all of that, and mm -hmm. basically what, he's, what his problem was, at that time, I could not lift my arm above mm. this right here. Mm. So uh, at level right there. Yeah without severe shooting pain. Mm. So then I talked to Pastor John, Dr. Clark, and then and then he sent me to Jeff Farina to, for physical therapy. But really then the, my next step was I went to my small group and mm -hmm. really I got desperate is what happened was mm -hmm. because as I was sleeping on it, it was getting worse. Mm. And by the Wednesday night that I went to my own small group, mm -hmm. I was no longer here, mm -hmm. I was down to here. Gotcha. And I'm like, this is going the wrong direction. Yeah. It's going fast at this point. Yeah. And uh, so I said, guys, I'm, I'm hurting. Mm -hmm. Can you all pray for me? Mm -hmm. The good news for that is after praying for me in my small group, I went from about here mm -hmm. to all the way here. Mm -hmm. So I got up to 70% mm -hmm. of the healing I was looking for yeah. there. Now, what I'm hoping is to finish that off so that I don't have, need physical therapy, yeah. and I certainly don't want surgery. <laughs> and the good news is, is that I don't. I think I'm out of the surgery. Where they, they said you're going to need surgery, and I'm like, don't want that. So, <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm hoping for a miracle healing yeah. that would make it so I don't even need physical therapy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you could rate your pain right now, what level would that pain be at? Zero right here, 
zero here. Mm -hmm. And after they prayed for me that um, uh, here is where I start, mm -hmm. that's, and then in the rotation, mm -hmm. that's painful gotcha. there and restricted right there. Gotcha. So compare that to here, there's nothing, no problem right uh -huh. there. So that's like my, now my, now my shoulder's a little stiff from doing that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then often he gave a lot of history right there, but a lot of times people won't share everything and I'll ask how long have you had this issue? Yeah. So I've had this issue probably for, uh, I have two to three months. So it's gotcha. been, and it's growing and getting worse until they prayed for me. Gotcha. Significantly better since then. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So that's the first step is you're going to interview and prepare for prayer. And then the second step is prayer selection. When we say prayer selection, what we're referring to is basically you can ask God to heal mm -hmm. or you can command mm -hmm. the healing. Yeah. Asking God is asking God to intervene Commanding is using the authority God has given you to command the healing. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we're on step two. Yeah. And I think it is a commanding uh, prayer is, okay. what I, is what I would select um, to speak to the muscle group that you're dealing with right now. Okay. Um, and to ask God to heal. Okay. Right, right now. That's okay. what I would do. Awesome. And then the actual prayer. So, so the next step is prayer ministry. After you've selected your, uh, your prayer, you're either going to do intercession and ask God or you're going to pray. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so Pastor Jared has chosen the command prayer, which mm -hmm. is mean he's actually going to command the, the healing in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not medical doctors, <laughs> so we don't have to get the medical stuff right. Yeah. In this case, I, because I had to learn about what is impaction, mm -hmm. It, the problem is created by my muscle is hitting bone mm -hmm. and my tendons are hitting bone mm -hmm. and they are scraping mm -hmm. and that's what's causing the pain. Gotcha. That's why the chiropractor can't fix it gotcha. is because he can't just fix the muscle. It's mm -hmm. actually a socket problem mm -hmm. where it's it's impacting on structures that won't move. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. So gotcha. prayer selection is to command the change. Yeah, absolutely. Is yeah. it okay if I put my hand on your shoulder? Go right ahead. God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for Ben and for what you're doing in his life. And right now we just speak to the muscles in his shoulder and in his socket and just that things would realign, that there would be no nerve pain, that there would be no inflammation, um, just that you would show him right now your power in healing his shoulder. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I want you to notice a couple of things about this. Number one is that I didn't try to pray while he was praying. I just relaxed. So we want to encourage people, just relax. I'm not trying to, I tried to pray for this myself and it didn't get healed. Mm. So I gave up, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm looking for help. So then um, this, the second thing I want you to notice is his prayer was short. We mm -hmm. don't need long prayers. I used to pray a really long time trying to <laughs> cover for my lack of faith. And I learned short prayers do better than long prayers, right? So. Uh, Pastor Jared used a combination of mm -hmm. thank you and then command. Now, when mm -hmm. my small group prayed for it, they used a combination of asking God, Lord, would you please mm -hmm. heal it? And mm -hmm. then commanding. And that's how I got my 70%. That's awesome. Okay. So, uh, so that was prayer ministry. The fourth mm -hmm. step is re-interview and continue praying. Now, mm -hmm. what we do here is we're saying, what changed? We're, we're asking to, the re-interview is, did something change when I pray? Okay, so how would you go about that? Did you feel anything when I was praying for you or how would you rate your pain now? So I did feel just a little bit of, uh, I don't know, it, it, Warmth would be exaggerating, mm -hmm. but but just a little something going on mm -hmm. when you prayed. So, but I, you know, so a little touchy feely, but yeah. it just felt something other than your hand going yeah, on in there. So I, I'm encouraged by that. Yeah. Okay, um, and there's no pain change right now because it's down here. There's no pain. Yeah. Well, you want to test it out? Yeah. So before, when I went here and back here, that's where the restriction was. Let me do it all the way, <laughs> and this is what the car the therapist said I should be able to do and bring it down do it again okay so the sharpness of pain has gone down mm -hmm. some but mm -hmm. the restriction is still there gotcha okay gotcha so there, so I'm gonna say that there's a little less pain but there's gotcha. still restriction gotcha yeah so notice in my prayer it's not that it always has to be super specific but I prayed specifically for the pain so I should probably now pray specifically for the restriction. Uh, great idea. <laughs> so we're on re-interview and yeah. continue praying. We have a little thing at Abundant Life, pray for pray three times. The yep. re, where we get that from is Jesus prayed for a blind guy. Uh, the guy could see fuzzy. 
so Jesus prayed a second time yeah. and the guy, he was, so if Jesus got to pray twice, we feel like we get to pray a thousand times, right? <laughs> uh, and and so, so, so this is for me is yeah. my third section of asking people to pray yeah. for it and you're praying more than once, yep. okay? Absolutely. So go ahead and take it. Yeah, absolutely. God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for what you've already done and Ben, I just pray that you'd make that feeling even stronger and we just speak to the restriction and his motion. God, free up any type of tightness or inflammation or any issues that are stopping his shoulder from moving in the correct way. We just ask that any manifestation that he's feeling, you would make stronger right now, um, just to make him confident in your moving. And just pray that you uh, would just keep moving. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Yeah. So what's next? I mean, just with the way with what I you just you did. Again. Okay. So we're still on re-interview yep. and continue praying. This right? part, this part cycles. Yeah. So yeah. this cycles, and we'll cycle this usually up to three times mm -hmm. in our in our prayer ministry. And the cycle would be then what you want to know is is did something mm -hmm. cha shift and change? Right? That's right. So I'm going to try it again. Test it again. So we're going to go up and around and see if the restriction changed at all. Um, and you can see then I'm up into the 80% realm, especially from where I was, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, no, there was not really a change in the restriction that okay. go around. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the, what about the pain? There's no shooting pain, mm -hmm. but it feels like if I continue this and over and over again, that I'm, it, I'm going to end up with a short, sore yeah. shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but is the shoot, there's no shooting pain when yeah. I do it. Yeah. And then I will say, can I pray for you again? Uh, yeah, because I would, I really would like to get to where I don't need any therapy. Yeah, so I absolutely. would like for a third time. Yeah. yeah. God, we just thank you that you are still moving. And we just pray right now in faith and with commands that you would work in his shoulder right now. You have given us authority. And by the blood of Jesus, we speak into his shoulder right now that things would align the way that they're supposed to. Muscles and tendons would go back where they're supposed to go. Bones would do what they're supposed to do. The rotating cuff would work properly. Um, just that everything would be restored to the way that it is intended to be. In the name of Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so that was our third time, which mm -hmm. is, there's no magic to three. It's just, that's just what we've chosen to do, you know what I'm saying? We've got five minutes. Yeah, service, yeah, right, so. right. So, yeah, so, so there's a limited amount of time is the issue, right? And so then we're going to check it out and see if mm -hmm. something shifted. Um, and uh, and so just, you know, a little bit of feedback. So for I feel a little bit of warmth in here, mm -hmm. which is cool, but that's not real the test. The <laughs> test is, 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 there, is there a shift, right? Yeah. So let's go again. And it's looser. Yeah. Um, definitely looser that mm -hmm. time. Pain is less, mm -hmm. almost completely gone. Mm -hmm. And to me, uh, that's almost in the 90% round yeah. now. So I felt something other than just my hand being on your shoulder yeah. while okay. I was praying for you. Okay, so. yeah, which we consider very encouraging, yes. right? And so, you know, we say three times, if they're getting movement, I'll pray more. Yeah, because 90%, <laughs> I'd, I'd be interested in 100 Yeah. so that there's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, absolutely. So, so absolutely, because there was movement that third yeah. time, yeah. improvement yeah. that third time. Well, right? let me pray the fourth yeah. time. We'll mm -hmm. go quick. Yeah. God, we thank you, and we just continue to command in the name of Jesus that things would be realigned. We speak again to the, the tendons and the muscles, that they would go back to where they're supposed to go, that the bones would be realigned, and that it would be restored in the name of Jesus. We command this in the authority that you have given us by the blood of Jesus and the work that he did for us on the cross. It's by his stripes that we are healed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And so we're going to say thank you for that. Mm-hmm. And I am up in the 95%. Yeah. Like lots. Of, okay. <laughs> so awesome. I'm, I'm extremely encouraged that yeah. I'm in the 95% range. You know what I'm saying now where, he's where gonna, I can, I'm he's gonna start thinking about doing, you know what I'm saying? So, and I say 5%, there's still little twinges, but not nearly what was right. Yeah. So, so that prayer, what he did was he took me from 70% all the way up into 95%, which is at that point, you probably don't pay for therapy. Right. That's uh, right. So, so you start clapping. Your so, hands so we're going to say, like, yeah. thank you, Lord. Yeah. And then the last step to close out this video is post prayer suggestions and yeah. recommendations. Do yeah. you have any post prayer suggestions and recommendations? I would say keep doing what your therapist says to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, but then also yeah. to continue to come up for prayer. Okay. So keep testing it. Pray for it yourself, mm -hmm. but since you're married and I yeah. know your spouse, mm -hmm. I would say ask Pastor Holly to mm -hmm. pray for you as well. Yeah, there I've witnessed many healings that are completed in the context of marriage, um, where your spouse prays for it. 
Right. Awesome. Okay. So we encourage you to practice this in your small groups um, and to use this as a model. This will be in the notes section for you where you can just say who needs a miracle, who needs miracle healing and mm -hmm. just practice it. And uh, just remember that, uh, we're, you know, we're going to put the heavy on God and mm -hmm. the easy on us. Mm -hmm. Really, if you'll just focus on loving people, it'll, the heavy will stay on God and, right. and, and we'll see amazing results.